Nestled in the heart of Southwest Florida, Chartreuse is a haven for cocktail enthusiasts like us seeking a sophisticated and vibrant experience. Once you're inside, you'll be transported to a world of classic charm and contemporary style. We love it here so much and we can't wait to show you why. The atmosphere inside is electric with soft lighting, plush seating, and an air of exclusivity that sets the stage for an unforgettable evening. There's definitely turn of the century speakeasy vibes, but it's so much more than that and not kitschy at all. At Chartreuse, mixology is elevated to an art form and they're elevating every time period and region that's important to the craft. Talented mixologists concoct innovative cocktails using premium spirits, fresh ingredients, and a dash of flair. We can't get over the size of their menu and how often they change it. From classic favorites to original creations, there's a libation to suit every palate. Almost as much, if not more than the cocktails, the thing that keeps us coming back for more are the outstanding bartenders that call Chartreuse home. Even to call them bartenders is kind of an understatement. They make every sip a moment to remember, whether it's offering a little history, a clever joke, or an on the spot concoction or recommendation made just for you. They really are the best and you can tell they love what they do. For round one, Megan's trying the Mountain Goat, a seasonal favorite that's a mix of local coffee and tiki vibes. And the producer's going with a take on a classic. Zombie, mega classic from the 30s. It's been adapted multiple times by a lot of different bartenders over the years and even by the creator. Uh, just taking the same basic setup of like rich grenadine, just like pomegranate syrup, high proof rums, and an absolute like a nice liquor. Uh, heavy licorice flavors. Uh, you just use it in little dashes to kind of round out this tart, strong, super drink. And I guess referenced by the name of Zombie, you uh, expect certain effects. Uh, our adaptation is going to be closer to Genevieve's uh, Beach Bum Berry recipe. Uh, this one utilizing a Hamilton Jamaican Black Pot Still uh, OFCD uh, plantation product, uh, and then uh, Eldorado Five Years. And as opposed to using grenadine, we're using like fashionola, uh, classic ingredient for a uh, hurricane. Uh, a little love, dare, <laughs> ultimately fire. Any tiki bar worth their weight in rum is gonna have a zombie on the menu. A tantalizing blend of exotic rums, fruit juices, and secret spices. This is the tropical vacation in a glass that you've been yearning for. With a twist of danger that'll awaken your taste buds like a zombie apocalypse in the best way. Light it up and gulp it down. This one's sure to bring you back from the dead. Another thing we love about Chartreuse is even though they don't have a kitchen, they do often host local pop-ups. And today we got the opportunity to try Next Level Sushi. And let me tell you, their rolls were pretty incredible. This was like a crispy salmon roll topped with these Asian noodles. It was the perfect blend of hot, cold, crispy, tangy, sweet, spicy, loved it. And as you can see, so did Megan. Definitely be sure to try them if you see them around Southwest Florida. Another reason that we love recommending this place is because even though they have that giant menu that I was telling you about, if you still can't figure out what you want, just tell one of these guys what you're in the mood for and they're gonna whip you up something special. This classic with a twist will help you experience sophistication and boldness like never before. Imagine the warm embrace of aged rum mingled with a hint of bitters, a touch of sweetness, and a burst of citrus essence. It's a symphony of flavors that dances elegantly on your palate, taking you on a journey through taste and time. The rum old fashioned is not just a drink, it's a masterpiece. Each sip is an homage to the past and a tribute to the art of mixology that's been refined over generations. And guess what? They'll also smoke it right there in front of you. Yoink. So, one thing I love about this place is since the menu is so huge, they're rotating cocktails out like all the time. So, if you come here a lot, you have like a running list of all your favorite drinks that kind of turn into secret menu items. So, this one is from Trader Drift, one of their bartenders. It's called the King Kong. And I think it's a really good entry level cocktail if you're not super familiar with tiki because it takes the classic old fashioned and makes it a banana rum cocktail. So it's got a little bit of like the essence of the tropics without being really sweet. 
And if you ask them, you can smoke literally anything. So they smoked this one for us, and let's give it a taste. Mm, delicious, super smooth finish, ice cold. The difference between this and like a classic old fashioned would be you're getting a lot of the spice from the spice room. So it makes it a little bit more interesting, like live on your palate, but still really smooth, easy to drink. If you're self conscious and you don't want an umbrella in your cocktail, but you still want a tiki drink, this is the way to go. So, cheers. Another great part about the lounge is how it really transports you through history, whether that's the swinging 60s or the roaring 20s. Every cocktail comes with a story and maybe a spanking. If you're looking for a sweet little palate cleanser, try one of their locally sourced chocolate truffles. We were able to try a sampling of coffee, turtle, key lime, and raspberry. They were as delicious as they were beautiful little pieces of art. Don't be in a rush here because each round is going to take time. There is a precise and delicate formula that goes into every glass. Let's see what the secret is in this one. Kari. Kari is like dumped a bunch of coconuts in it, so it's chocolate Kari, super mm -hmm. delicious. Uh, basically matching acidity with chocolate. It's softening each other out, uh, so it can still be bitter, but like you can slam that thing. It's delicious. What we've got here is the Chimera, the egg coffee jungle brew made by one of our favorite bartenders, David, aka Damon. You've already heard from him. Uh, it has valerium, pineapple, tropical cold brew, a rum blend, and really interesting, a cacao infused compar. So let's give it a taste. This is more of like a coffee forward flavor. It's almost like a like a mocha, more like traditional like coffee drink. <laughs> I like coffee cocktails because they make me feel like amazing. Like I'm bringing me up and love like now. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm not sure, but it feels very nice. It's like I'm just, it makes me feel like I'm having a really good time tonight. I love chartreuse. It's one of my favorite coffee. Drinks. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. Steph, is this all just fruity, tropical tiki cocktails? I would say nay nay. They make this surprisingly great mix called a Mangolandia, which is a blend of bourbon and mezcal, which I can't think of anywhere that I've had before. It's a little bit spicy, which I love spice with my agave spirits, and it's super light and refreshing, easy to drink, and perfect on a hot Florida afternoon. Garnished with a fresh cucumber slice, mint, and some shaved ice, it is so delicious. Let's give it a try. I got the mango landia. It is a, I want to call it almost like a spicy margarita, but it has bourbon and mezcal in it, which is awesome. It's like a great citrusy. It's got a little cucumber and a really big straw. I think they're mezcal. They got jokes, these guys. They got jokes. And if you really want to take a departure from the ordinary, we recommend trying their full absinthe service. If you've never unraveled the fascinating history of absinthe, this enigmatic emerald elixir has captured imaginations for generations. Made by blending the flavors of anise, fennel, and wormwood, in the late 18th century, this concoction emerged. Absinthe quickly gained a devoted following among bohemian artists and writers, becoming the muse that fueled creativity and stirred controversy. Accused of inducing madness and hallucinations, Nations, it was banned in many countries during the 20th century. The Green Fairy had admirers and skeptics alike, sparking a legendary aura that persists to this day. So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our favorite Southwest Florida cocktail lounge, Chartreuse. That you're just out for a night with friends or you're celebrating a special occasion, we promise that you're going to have a great time. Be sure to comment down below with which drink looked best to you, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any more of our Florida fun.